Hi everyone, welcome to the course CEC or the CEC 314 Transportation Engineering. Today we will look at speed, flow, and density of a traffic stream. Okay? So we we'll start with defining flow. Where we denote flow as Q. Flow is given by Q. So flow is a measure of the volume of traffic on the highway. So we call flow defined as the measure of the volume of traffic on the highway on a highway. Okay. It is also defined as the number of vehicles. So we can define it in terms of number of vehicles, number of vehicles, number of vehicles passing some given point on the highway, some given point on the highway in a given time interval denoted by T. So call that time interval as T. So denote, denote the time interval as time interval as T. Call it T. So here we said the flow Q will be equal to number of vehicle passing some given points on the highway at particular time interval so it's going to be n over t so it's going to be n over t which is our equation or this equation one q is expressed is expressed in vehicles by unit time by unit time so the next thing we look at is traffic density so we look at traffic density density so traffic density is a measure denoted by k is the measure of the number the number of vehicles and occupying a given length of a roadway occupying a given length of a road way so denoted k is equal to n over l. In the given length of the roadway is l. Call this l. So k is equal to n over l. So this forms our equation 2. For a given section of a road road containing k vehicles by unit length l, the average speed of k k vehicle is standard space mean speed u. So we want to talk about the space mean speed denoted by u. So we said that for any given section of the road containing k vehicles by unit length section of the road containing k vehicles so we have k vehicle by unit length by unit length L, the space mean speed, so the average speed of the vehicle, the average average speed of the vehicle, the average speed is denoted by k of the vehicle of the k vehicle is termed called or termed space mean speed denoted by u so that is the space mean the average speed for all vehicles in a given space at a given discrete point in time is known as the space mean speed so it is the average speed u or the space mean speed is the average speed 
of new speed for all vehicles vehicles in a given space at a given discrete point point in time. Next we express the space main speech space space main speech as space main speech we express it as you will be able to we have one over n reciprocal of n we have summation we all have n at the top we have for i is equal to l i is equal to l l i l i over t where l i l i is the length of the road used is the length of the road used for measuring the speed speed of the height vehicle so this is our equation number three thus we clean up this it is no longer density we're talking about the space main speed so you know this so that we can have more clean space okay so we're still talking about space main speed we will get by you we'll call it the space main speed call it space main speed speed okay that's what we're talking about so the next thing we need to look at we said where L I is the length of the road used for measuring the speed of the height vehicle. Thus, the three parameters, parameters U, which is the space mean speed, density K, and low Q are directly related under stable traffic condition. Related under under stable traffic conditions okay where q is equal to u k that q is equal to the product of the space means be multiplied by the density this constitutes constitutes then that this constitutes the basic relationship between traffic flow between traffic flow space mean speed and density we call this equation four equation number next we look at speed we look at speed density relationship relationship in a situation where only one car is traveling along a stretch of a highway I have a stretch of a highway let's say only one vehicle is traveling along this stretch of highway is traveling along this stretch of highway density which density is which is vehicle per kilometer will be defined to be near zero and the speed at which the car can be driven is determined solely by the geometric design and layout of the road such a speed is termed free flow speed free flow speed as it is no way hindered by the presence of other vehicle on the highway. So when the vehicle is traveling and it is traveling alone without uh, without being around some other vehicles, so we said that it is moving its if speed down as free flow speed. As more vehicles are being 
or join the stream or vehicles during the section of the highway, the density of the flow will increase and the speed will decrease from the maximum free flow value which is denoted by UF as they are increasingly inhibited by the driving maneuvers of others. When the traffic flow continues to increase, the point is which where the traffic will be brought to a stop, thus the speed will equal zero. So all we are trying to say here is that a vehicle during the road session the time runs from other vehicle, another vehicle joins up, the speed will continue to reduce. At a point in time, the speed will become zero. So, at that time, mu, we said u is equal to zero with the density at x maximum point. And the cars are jammed, jammed bumper to bumper. So, having bumper to bumper, jammed as density jump or damage jam density so if the vehicles can no longer move because of other cars coming in at a point in time there is a traffic jam or that jam density which is kj denoted by kj thus the limiting value of the relationship between speed and density, looking at the relationship, the limiting value between speed and density are that we are k is equal to zero u is equal to uf this is where you have the maximum free speed or you call it the, the free flow speed then when u is equal to zero k is equal to k j so the speed or density increases and at this point the speed reduces because more vehicles have been introduced into the section to a point that there is a jam density so we can also illustrate this using a graph of this so we have a relationship of this so the graph we have speed in kilometer per hour per hour and this is zero this is uf then this is kg so here we say density which is vehicle per kilometer we can see that the more the speed increases, the more the density reduces. The more the density at the point of jam density, the speed is zero. So that is the relationship between speed and density. We we'll call it speed density relationship. 